This is D Brown, we got son, and today we're gonna dive within the sound wave of Like It's 99. As you just heard with the intro of this, it's like a uh, ominous sound with, with these with these bells and all that. And it, and it seems so weird because, all right, the song is called Like It's 99, which of course is the whole tribute to Prince, you know, Party Like It's 1999. Why is this not a party type song? Why is it not upbeat and all that? Because when I dive into this, you'll see that it's a ominous feel, especially if you remember how everything felt around 99 going into the year 2000 it was a whole ominous feel where you wanted to dance and be happy and all that but you're kind of afraid that the computer is about to crash and we're going back into the stone ages everything is just going to fall apart our whole grid system is falling apart so it was kind of scary when you count down 10 9 i think about the meme when it comes to jay-z you know with his glasses on and he's dancing that's how we felt 10 9 8 you know, just dancing like, huh, I don't know. It's rocking, but something ain't right. That's how we felt when we was counting down. Like, okay, we about to go in 2000. What is about to happen? So then we go straight into the hook. Going for the bag equals no chill. Even if a nigga out here balling in the hills. I'm talking nobody can make me fall back. Not even double zeros can make computers crash. So we gon' win it. And we gon' party like it's 99. So of course, going for the bag equal no chill. Can't just lay back. You're gonna go hard for it. You're gonna do your thing. Even if you're out living in the hills and all that, balling in the hills, it's like, don't slow down at that point. Just keep going harder. I'm talking nobody can make me fall back. If you're in the zone, just stay in the zone. Just keep going for it and keep doing your thing. That's when I bring in that whole thing that I just talked about in the beginning where it say not even double zeros can make computers, computers crash where we know what happened when the countdown actually got down to zero, the clock strikes. 12, nothing, just fireworks. And we continue to celebrate. We all took a sigh of relief at that point. But now that's when I go into it and we gonna party like it's 99 where it's like now we just having a good time in the house, whatever, cause we wasn't sure what was gonna happen. Was this gonna be the last thing? And now we out there partying, just having a good time. So I wanna keep that ominous feel though, because that ominous feel is what carries the whole idea of how we felt in 99 going into 2000. It actually depends on how you're feeling that day when you listen to this song. You either gonna groove with it, cause you feeling good, or you feeling upset about what's, whatever is transpiring that day. And you're gonna listen to this song, you're gonna be like, just bump into it, just in a mood like man this is i'm telling you this is how i feel so it actually goes with your mood this is it changes with your mood this type of song right here raise the roof tell them raise the roof switch it up for a sec now they in the groove red cup on deck you know how we do gold chains on our neck a1 in the crew on the first verse i'm setting everything up where i'm just giving it setting the atmosphere of how we are when we go to a party you know, we in there just raising, the, especially back then, it's like we raising a roof. What do we always have when we have a drink? We always have a red cup. It's always the red cup there. So I'm just setting the atmosphere. This is the party. This is how the party scene is looking. Then I say A1 in the crew. I put that right there because when it comes to hip hop, especially for break dancers, you know, when it came to crews of break dancing, pop locking, it was always everybody in the crew had to be tight but it was always that one person who was supposed to be the leader or supposed to be the tightest one on there and they always called him the a1 so if you're going against another crew you know you see them they say who's the a1 in the crew and all that and they that a1 battle that a1 and if you can't beat that a1 then that means you can't beat my whole squad type thing so that's where that comes from in this keeping a hip-hop feel for this and then we go on to the next line your whole click, not a threat, don't know how to move. See these flames, I'm the nigga on the mic, though. MC, bring a lot when the night's slow. You will see the Frankenstein, let a nigga go. Wait, wait, double the price. I know that you hear my nigga, I'm nice. Put in a lot of time, a lot of late nights, never overnight. But success is a conclusion that's foregone. You've been forewarned. All 
all that is pretty much straightforward. And then it's just a lot of autobiography going on with, with this, where I'm just like, all right, I got to double the price because, you know, I put in a lot of late nights. I'm at a point with everything where I know how to create something good. As I had put in that time, that extra time, that the overnight, the that like they say, burning the candle at both end type thing, digging deep into my craft. So now with this feeling of this song, that's why I say it depends on how you're feeling. This could even be a uplifting moment where it's like, yes, I put in that time, I'm going for it. Or if you're just in a bad mood that day or in a somber mood that day, you listen to this and you like, damn, I'm doing all this, I'm doing all this, I gotta, I gotta move forward, I gotta make it, I gotta do this and that. And then I'll take it right over to the next lines where I'm talking about the success is basically already a foregone conclusion. Because when you take it into the happier moment, you're like, I'm getting it. I put in this time. I did all this, now it's just time to show. Success is foregone, conclusion. Everyone's gonna see it. And if you're in a somber mood, it's like, yeah, I've been doing all this. And then that's just a reminder, like remind yourself, success is a conclusion already foregone. You're already gonna have this happen. So it's kind of to help try to get, coax you through the day to uplift you. Your Mayan calendar to me is just a soft storm. Never in the days your prophets is a false alarm. Your thoughts are soft core. Man, it's so boring. I'm on a hardcore balls deep throat gagger. For the your Mayan calendar to me is just a soft storm. Where basically it was like, especially once again, think about back in those times, we was all hearing computers going to crash. And then, oh, also the Mayans predicted that the world is going to end in 2000. When 2000 came and the world didn't end, oh, that was just a soft storm. Of course, they came back and said, oh, no, we got it wrong. It's 2012. But then, of course, we're past that and we're still here in 2020 worrying about that whole fear monger and it was like okay i'm not gonna worry about that i'm gonna just do my thing all that stuff that you're saying that's just false alarms by a certain time especially by 2012 you know when everything didn't happen it was like okay i'm not worrying about that because every it's, it's kind of like the boy who cried wolf sparked up in my head especially if we're talking about going hard and all that i took it into the porn world where it's like softcore that's boring going to the hardcore and instead of just hardcore you know i make it graphic to make it to show that we going hard with it where it's balls deep throat gaggers type thing ladies if you don't know what i'm talking about just look at your man right now he probably got a smile on his face or trying to hide that smile because he like oh hell come on man you're putting us on blast right now nah you can't tell me when to slow down i've been riding on this bowl and never touch the ground i'm the one that's all around that can kill it now i'm the one that held you down Who you kidding now this is more on that redemption side of everything this is more on that if you if you're feeling good you're going to stay feeling good if you're feeling down this is that redemption to try to pull you back up riding on this bull a lot of bull that happens in your life a lot of bullshit that happens into your in your life instead of just succumbing to it I'm riding it just like, of course, the bull. And I never touched the ground, never fell off the bull riding the bull. That uplifting comes back in after realizing that it's like, I'm the one all around, I can kill it now. You know, I know how to do all this, I can do this. And we're gonna move forward with it and just continue to kill it. Computers must have crashed in the new millennium. All they do is place blame on millennials. Live life, nigga, won't you love yours? Get out of minds if you ain't for the war. Computers must have crashed in the new millennium. I'm just thinking back, seeing how the atmosphere is right now. It's like, okay, so the computers must have crashed because y'all forgetting how this works. They're always going back to fear mongering and all that. And right now we like to do the whole fear mongering and saying, look at the millennials. Everything is millennials fault. Okay, one, do you know what a millennial is? Because there's so many age differences. Every time a young person that's in their teens or 20s or below do something, we always saying, oh, it's the millennials. Is it really the millennials? Are they even millennials? Somebody else, please comment somewhere and let me know what a millennial is. What's the age bracket? Because who we attribute this to don't seem like that's right. And that's why I just say, how about you just live your life and stop worrying about mine? You can go ahead and give all your energy to what I'm doing or you can just focus on your life and making your life better because that's what I'm doing for me. Cause So get out of minds and focus on the war. My Glock ain't got no safety, ain't no safety, bro. And trust me for the SIG, ain't no safety on. 
I say that to say I don't know the mechanism Going hard in the field full of ammunition Saying that I just said war I take it back to a saying that me and my boys will always say You know, my Glock ain't got no safety That was one thing that we will always say It's mainly because, you know, when it comes to a Glock They don't have the hammer on it, you know So we see that as the safety And that's the only safety mechanism Of course with the trigger They have like a little interlock right there If you don't press on it, you can't pull the trigger But that ain't really a safety you know, that's like, all right, I pick up the gun and it shoots. And then I say for my SIG, ain't no safety on. I keep the safety off type thing. So I say that to say, I don't know the mechanism. I don't know how to play it safe. I just know how to go hard and bang. Begotten Sunday after next, go and get them. It's for leaving for the soul, although when I hit them. Seeing all I know how to do is bang. It's like, begotten Sunday after next. And then you hear the gunshots, bop, bop, I go and get them. But with this, seeing that I'm dropping every Sunday with these Begotten Sundays, it's like rapid fire, just boom, another one, boom, another one, boom. But with this, the content that I'm giving, seeing that it's so good, it's relieving for the soul when I hit them. Every time you get hit with a new song, it's like, ooh, another uplift. Or as the tagline say, recharging your hustle, it's another recharge. Every Sunday, boom, another recharge. Got the juice, got the juice flowing through my veins. And for my niggas on the team, it's the same thing. Then I just end off everything with, I got the juice flowing through my veins, you know? And then for my niggas on the team, everybody that's with me, they doing the same exact thing. That's the thing when it comes to be gotten sounds. We're working with people who are actually doing good things, who want to be creative and want to make a dent in this music industry, this music world that we know. So then we just go back into the hook and then it just ends off right there, especially like I said, that ominous feel, but depending on how you're feeling, that, that ominous feel gives you a good feeling because of the dissonance that's in it where you know you should be partying, but it feels weird. But when it comes together in such a melodic way, no matter how you feel, you're gonna vibe with this in a certain way. So it's always gonna catch you in your feelings however whatever side of the spectrum that you want so that's like is 99 we're going to keep on bumping these out and until next time i'm d brown begotten son and i'm out